Arrhythmias are irregular heartbeats, and the most common of which is called atrial fibrillation. There are several ways to treat it. One of those ways is cardioversion. We learn about this treatment method in this week's CHI San Vincent, your health report. Well, you don't know immediately. Could be anything. You, you, you could have done a little too much or whatever, and uh, it has to progress to the point where you know, you just know it's not right. Back in 2008, Bob Funderburg got a pacemaker after having a heart attack. It's worked fine until a few months ago when he started experiencing symptoms like exhaustion. Yeah, I'm kind of an outdoor guy, and I, I, don't, uh, I just don't do it much anymore. I don't work around a place like I, I would like to, and uh, I kind of keep the, mowing the grass to a minimum. And anything that's exertion, you know, it just wears you out, and all you want to do is just sleep, you know, rest. After visiting CHI St. Vincent cardiologist Dr. Raj Cheka, Funderburg learned he had atrial fibrillation. It is an irregular chaotic rhythm in the top chamber and makes the bottom chamber irregular also and makes it go faster than it needs to. They started with medication to treat it, but for some it isn't enough. So Dr. Cheka suggested electrical cardioversion. We give it an electrical shock while they're asleep, of course they don't feel, to try and convert them into normal rhythm. After a patient's heart settles on a normal rhythm, Jekka says the patient can use medication to control it. I'm hoping that this, it works well enough that by tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to be feeling a lot better. Dr. Cheka says millions of people experience AFib, and things like age and high blood pressure can also be risk factors.